What's going on, my No Man's Sky dudes? We gotta say solar system, star system review for No Man's Sky. So I can't even warp to this one. Sick. <laughs> Let me find a different one. That one had so many freaking planets on it anyways. Um, you are here. Okay. That one's got like one or two. Uh, let's see here. See if we can warp to maybe... I don't know, maybe this one? <laughs> Dudes, I got some auto-tone going on in my own voice here. <clears throat> Need some Robitussin. All right, let's get one of these uh, perp skirt, purple, whatever you want to call them, rare solar systems, and uh, we'll check out what we get. All right, boys, let's see what we can find. So I'm already seeing one of those crazy, uh, you know, like uh, hexagonal, whatever the hell, kind of exotic biome planets here, but it does have a ring around it, so... Yeah, with these solar system, star system reviews, I used to do this way back in the day whenever I was really into doing the planet reviews, but basically what it is is it's just like a planet review, but I, I basically spend about half the time on, on each one of the planets that I normally would on a planet review, but I go to all the planets in that one particular solar system and then give the overall star system a rating with all the planets combined and a difficulty with all the planets combined. So it's just like a planet review. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, really, the solar system review and planet review thing. But I just wanted to explain, you know, some of you maybe newer fans that have came in there don't really know what the hell is going on here. That's uh, just like a planet review, but just multiple planet reviews kind of thrown into one as a solar system review. So, yeah, boys, this is one of those uh, exotic biome style planets right here. So somewhat, um, you know, I mean, it is certainly cool when you first come down and see this on a planet. You think like, oh my God, what is this? I feel like I'm on some sort of super next level alien style planet. What the hell is that? I don't know if I've ever seen any of those before. Oh, dude, that's one of those, uh, that's one of those newer, like super exotic creature types that like pop out of the ground, right? Wow, yeah, I've never seen that before, but that's cool because it goes exactly with this biome, this exotic biome. They have those little yellow electricity nodes on them. Can I scan these little puppies? Are they even scannable? They're freaking bouncing up out the ground so quick, I can't, <laughs> can't even scan them. Oh, them dudes are gnarly, bro. They're hossing. Uh, okay then. But yeah, I love this whole dimensional vibe that this exotic biome has on it here. Oh, and by the way, I love that idea of the having creatures that can actually come out of the ground, aka like the huge snake creatures that we saw in the E3 trailers. Still waiting on those puppies, by the way, uh, Sean Murray. <laughs> you know, I think that's cool to have like trim, true trimmer style creatures that actually pop up out of the ground and dig under the ground and all that. I think that would add a lot to the creature variation and stuff, but yeah, that's so cool just having that. Do they actually hurt you if they trying to get like right up on one see what happens do they actually uh push you up like make you bounce up in the air i don't know what happens when you actually get right on this thing <laughs> freaking chasing this thing oh god but yeah I, I, I really did like the whole oh shit where'd it go i really like the whole dimensional vibe thing that they kind of went with with the uh what the hell was that update name of that update uh, shit. Damn, I, I'm getting a little confused. So it was like Foundation Atlas Rises, I think maybe was the update name, uh, where they added like the, the new dimensional race in there. I thought that was all really cool. And I think they need to make it to where like you can go through wormholes and go through other dimensions where you can kind of like go to these new crazy worlds. It's not necessarily a planet, but it's like a whole new dimension in some kind of way. You know, I think that'd be very fascinating if you could do that, have like some sort of dimensional warping where you go to these things that are like not even like a planet at all. It's just like some crazy ass. Uh, it could be anything at that point. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be restricted to like a planetary biome and a whatever the hell. It can just be some crazy alien world dimension and then you can warp back to this dimension or something. I think that'd be cool to have that in the game. But anyways, this is pretty standard run of the mill, this kind of biome planet. I don't want to spend too much time on this planet because we got to go to all the other planets on here. So on this particular uh, solar system. Okay, but not bad though, man. 
Um, but yeah, I, I have noticed that like this particular dimensional hexagonal exotic biome, basically when you go to it once, you feel like you've pretty much seen all of them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's just kind of the feeling I get from it. But because uh, there's just it's like you see the exact same hexagonal sort of plants, electrical hexagonal plants or whatever you want to call them. It's like you see the exact same object. That's what makes it a little bit uh, repetitive and frustrating in that sense. But we'll fly over here. Looks like I've got a planet and a moon. Been a minute since I've been hitting me up some moons, man. <laughs> I'll be that man on the moon and I'm going to do what I do. So, yeah, let's see. It's going to take us a second to boost up over here, but not too bad. So how many planets do we have in the solar system? Let me just check real quick. Three planets and one moon. Okay, so this is going to be our second planet in the moon, and then we'll have one other planet to go to here. So it's interesting how on No Man's Sky, basically they, uh, they classify their moons kind of separate from planets. So I wouldn't be surprised if at one point you could actually land on, like, somehow land on bigger asteroids and and it be classified as like you you were the first one to land on that big asteroid or that big whatever it is out in space you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a planet as you can see by the difference in them having moons and planets you see what i'm saying i don't know what the hell is going to be on this i'm thinking it's probably just going to be standard uh maybe mushroom style toxic rain or something been a while since i've been to one of those but yep uh, that's what she looks like. I can see these from a mile away. <laughs> uh, these used to be so fucking repetitive. When this game first came out, oh my god. It was literally like every other planet you went to was one like this. Um, and you got, you no, day one No Man's Sky players know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like over there praising with me like, Jesus, Spencer, I hear you. I know exactly what you mean, bro. Uh, cause that's how it was, dude. It was just insane how many of these there were. Um, like it, it was silly how many planets you would go to that would have that exact same mushroom, that exact same mushroom and that exact same mushroom. There's only really, see, this is the crazy thing about No Man's Sky, but there's only really like 10 different kind of mushroom style model plants in the game there really is only like 10 different variations of that of course they can be different variations of size and color but i'm i just mean the model in general those really only like 10 different types of them which is nowhere not even not even a speckle of a percent of a you know a grain of sand on a beach of how it should be in a game that's got 18 quintillion planets on it you know that's the issue um, there's one of those little fly trapping dudes. Look at that. Got the, uh, got the damn Thamium inside. <laughs> damn, that's like a literal trap. Look at that. It's like, that's like damn mouse trap for you. It's like, oh, you want some Thamium, bitch? Okay. I'm gonna, uh, uh, chomp you up real quick. By the way, I don't think that's even called Thamium anymore. That's fucking like oxygen or something. I don't know. I don't know they changed that at some point. Used to be Thamium. I remember all the OG, like, you know, No Man's Sky resources and shit. Because uh, that's back when I really played pretty deep into the game. And then after every update, I've just kind of played it a little bit into it. Not like super, super, super deep. And then I just come on here and have fun in creative mode for these planet reviews. But either way, it's a pretty shitty planet right here, to be honest. Uh, shit green color. Um, mellow yellow whole planet kind of feels stagnant and the same this would not be one of those planets that would be interesting to go walk around and see what's on it <laughs> like you're gonna see the same crap over the whole planet like it's just not it's not really a fascinating planet at all this is just one of those planets where you just come to it if you have to have certain uh like toxic rain style plant resources or something like that that'd be pretty much the only reason this is not a planet that's really a um you know, like a let's go explore that type of planet. So let's see. Let me get my freaking ship down here right quick. We'll hit the moon on it, though. I'm guessing the moon will probably be way more interesting than the actual planet, which 
does happen at times. So just reminding you, some of you, uh, you know, No Man's Sky fans of my channel, I know I've been popping off on these a little bit more here recently. Uh, basically, I know I do a lot of motocross stuff on my channel, but if you're only wanting to watch No Man's Sky content, I do have a playlist. Uh, if you just click on my name, click on my channel, you can go to my front page. It's just right down there on my actual playlist of on my channel i've got a no man's sky playlist there so all of my no man's sky videos are there even dating all the way back to the very get-go so um if that's all you're wanting to watch on my channel you know there's plenty of content there and i'll still be coming out with more content on this game so i think this is the moon i'm getting a little confused on like where i'm at here but i think this is the moon right here i think that's so cool how there actually is moons in this game but yeah, just think about how, how much that would add to the game, just being able to land on some huge asteroid, and not even that it has to be an asteroid, you know, that's the big thing I always try to push to everybody, it's not that it has to be an actual asteroid, just simply, um, it could be anything, you know, some, like, I, I don't know, some, some, I don't, there's just so much that can be land on a bowl type stuff out in a galaxy in a video game, there's just so much potential for that. So I'm thinking this is going to be more of a, uh, you know, like a, what you really expect from a moon. Kind of more dead moon style, something like that. That's a cool plant. This is kind of cool here. Um, interesting. So it's not like super barren dead moon. It's almost kind of does have grass on it. But what the hell is this? I ain't never seen this before. I don't even know what this is. What is all this like broken shell crap? <laughs> I've never seen that. Uh, and then this weird looking tentacle spire type uh, plant or whatnot that that is. Never seen that before. So that's cool. That's a whole brand new model. Don't know if they've added that in on visions or what exactly. But this is certainly interesting. So that is a plant. Look at that, dog. Things are sick. Make the planet feel super alien. But yeah, that's so weird how it's got this, like, look at those scaly-looking leaf plants right there. Wow. Um, and then there's some bigger ones over here. That's pretty cool. I like that color right there, Dave. <laughs> 420 Blazes and Bob Marley-ass colors. You got some green, yellow, red, orange going on. Okay. But look at what it does right here. Just having unique plant models. Like, holy God. You know, unique plant and rock models. Oh, shit. We got some little fucking... What are those? Never seen something like that. What are these? Little, uh... Little skeeters? <laughs> I don't know what these little things are, dude. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay, No Man's Sky. I like... I like what you're putting out here. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Those dudes are fluttering all over the countryside. Can't even, like, focus on them here. Whoa. I think I can... See, can I go into photo mode? How do I do that? Been a long time since I've done this, man. Okay. Uh, there's one right there. Let me uh, let me give them a second to get back up. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let me pause it right here. What the hell is this? So, whoops, shit. I have to wait till he. I don't know why it just got dark all of a sudden. There we go, there we go. Got it, right here. What the hell is this? Okay, so that's not even an actual... Um, this is some sort of exotic biome, I guess, or something. Because that's not even a... Uh, that's not actually like a bug creature. It's not like a little mosquito butterfly creature like I thought at first. That's just some alien, like we saw on that first planet there. You know, those dills that were popping up out of the ground, it's not even really like a creature. It's like some other dimensional being. That's basically what this is right here, too. You know, it's got that same sort of scaly, just like the plants right here, but it's like a pod of them, and it's moving around, but it just gave the illusion like it was some sort of flying creature. See, this is the... This is the... The insects, the flying insects of another dimensional world, Right? It's basically what this is right here. So that's sick as hell. That is really cool. So that's why it was moving in such a bizarre fluttering manner there. Wow. That's pretty insane, man. Thing just kind of fl it's not even really flying. It's like fluttering and just bumping up against the ground. 
There's tons of them out here, dude. That is a crazy animation that they have on that, and that would only work for super weird-looking stuff like that. You couldn't have a, you know, like a normal um, mammal or insect really moving like that. It wouldn't really work. That The only way it can be like that is through that dimensional, just like a bunch of those. I mean, it's got to be like super alien for that to work. Look at that planet off there in the distance. Yeah, that's a nice planet, though, dude. I don't know if this is pretty typical. Look at that cheese. Somebody's been cutting the cheese out, bro. <laughs> Look at that. That's a cool plant. So if I can just stick my head through one of these. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom, what's up? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, but I like that whole, like, you know, um, almost like, what the hell do you call that? Uh, there's a word I'm looking for right now. Uh, watercolor, maybe, or some, some shit. You guys know what I'm talking about here? Uh, damn things you can do with the glass, watercolor, crap. That's what that looks like, and that's what those little creature things look like, too. What if I hit them? I think I just hit one. Can I even scan it? I don't even know if I can scan it. Little dude skis are hard to hit. If those were really coming at you, it'd be rough. I almost took one down. I don't even know if you can take one down. Whoa. I don't know if he was trying to attack me or not. Either way, I'm out here disrupting this other dimension for no good reason. Okay, I'll let you little dimensional butterflies fly along. I won't hurt you anymore. I'm a nice guy. Alright, either way, uh, basically didn't move around this little moon at all, but one of the coolest moons I've ever seen, for sure. Just, uh, but look at what it can do by just having, it's not even that it really has all that much different than a lot of other planets, it just, it at least has something different, <laughs> you know, something that I haven't seen before. Like, this, whoa, look at that, that's like fucking, like, blown out glass, rainbow glass or something on the inner workings of this rock plant right here. That's sick, dude, that is a super cool plant. Um... And then having those, like, super weird, completely different model, completely different animation creatures on this planet just gives it a totally different feel to it. So either way, we got to get to this last planet over here in this uh, solar system so we can wrap up this review, but not bad, though. So what is that? Like, two exotic biomes in one solar system? That's kind of crazy. Two exotic biomes, one really shitty planet the um, mushroom planet that you've seen a thousand times. Let's see if I can even figure out where I'm at here. Okay, here we go, boys. It's the last one. I'm going to try to get it on the uh, sun side uh, part of the planet. This is looking like a... I don't even know what the hell. Just a rock? Full-blown rock planet or like a barren style or something like this? All right. What the hell is that? That almost looks like some fog or something, doesn't it? That would be sick. I bet it goes away, though, before we get down there. Yep. <laughs> Just what I anticipated. Uh, we got us a hot planet. What the hell? That didn't look like this at all from the outside. It's one of those cherry red, freaking full-blown red everywhere hell dimension planets. <laughs> uh, wow, that looks super weird having the... The red on the ground, right? Almost like a little bit of a red hazy fog and the pink red style sky. Wow, that, that definitely gives it a feeling. Some of their visual updates with visions and stuff has certainly helped the game out quite a bit. Got a massive anteater over there. That looks good. Not bad at all. Look at that guy. Look at that. Okay, okay. Got a crazy tail on him. Eating him some uh, fire ants out here, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, oh. So, oh, he's about to kill the little. Look at that. <laughs> he's about to kill the little uh, alien squid thing. He was chasing after him. He needs some squid meat, dude. It's calamari. Look at this. National Geographic. Oh, shit. Don't watch, kids. Okay. Then we got this other cool looking. What the hell? This little, uh, see, I saw a creature, like, that was one of the first kind of creatures I've ever seen in this game looked like that at the very, very beginning. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Look at that little guy. He's like a little turtle, 
little turtle pink wing little motherfucker. This guy's out here to kill. He's just slaying these little alien dudes all over the place. Wow, okay, getting a little lost up in the creatures here a little bit. That's always nice. And you got uh, a little bit of cool different creatures going on. These little two-legged dudeskies. All right, all right. Yeah, this is a super sunny, hot, crazy planet. This big boy. That's a pretty nice-sized creature right there. Not, like, as big as I think it should be, but that's not bad. That's certainly one of those uh, will-trample-you type creatures. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those bigger boys. Oh, is he coming at me? I think he's coming at me. Ah! Maybe he's not. It's pretty big, though, when you actually get up on him like this. Be a nice mount to have in the game. But either way, boys, uh, I don't want to sit here forever on this planet. It's going to be pretty, I feel like it's pretty standard. There's going to be some of those creatures here and there, but not too crazy on anything else. Uh, just kind of a standard hot planet, trees and rocks here. Nothing too fascinating on that side, but the the red visual effect, red pink sky with the red dirt, it's kind of cool here. So either way, and then just a ton of creature life going on. What kind of rock do we have right here? Oh. Okay, one of those got the little moving animation there on the middle of the rock. So that's nice. But either way, let's look at uh, all the planets we got. Self-igniting storms. Cool. Indetectable burning. Huh. So that was on the one we were just on. Indetectable burning. So that's that was on the moon. Wow. Indetectable burning. Interesting. So I wonder if that was actually hurting me had I not been in creative mode. Infrequent toxic drizzle. And then the first planet was the thirsty clouds. <laughs> thirsty. She thirsty, boy. Threatening sentinels. But I think because I'm in the... Um, you know, creative mode, the sentinels don't actually come out at you at all. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, not too bad on the planets, though. I would say, as an overall rating, I was really impressed with that moon. Some cool creatures that the one was just on, and the first planet was okay, especially if you've never been to one like that before. So, I would say, overall, probably going to give this solar system like an 8. And I'm going to say the difficulty is... Uh, you could probably say mm, medium, probably something like that. So that's technically a rare creature. The little picture of him looks nothing like the actual. <laughs> that looks like a baby virgin or something. Either way, um, that's the solar system review, man. Appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.